SCP-023 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-023 is to be contained in a vault of intersection of two corridors at Site-69 with at least 3 meters of space in each direction and false door at three of the four ends in addition to the real door. Security cameras will be placed and maintained above all four doors. At all times, SCP-023's eye sockets are to be filled with spherical inserts made of hard rubber. Eye inserts must be replaced as they degrade. Degradation can be monitored by measuring the brightness of the burning effect as observed by security footage. Brightness greater than 12 candela requires that the inserts be replaced within 12 hours. Eye sockets are only to be replaced with eye inserts and only after the sun has completely set. Personnel are not to look directly into the eye sockets of SCP-023 at any time. Following incident, SCP-023-27 all reflective surfaces, including displays, monitors, and eyewear of any sort, are not permitted within 30 meters of SCP-023 cell. This includes monitors linked to security cameras within its enclosure. Security personnel posted at the checkpoints outside both corridors will enforce and adhere to this measure. Experimentation involving SCP-023 has been suspended indefinitely. Description SCP-023 is a large sexless canine 1.5 meters at the shoulder with black fur. Anytime an individual makes eye contact with SCP-023, either that person or a member of their immediate family will die exactly one year after the eye contact is broken. Research into the method of selection is incomplete due to a monitoration on experiments, but the available data suggests having a larger immediate family lessens the chance of the individual making eye contact of themselves dying, and neither a pattern nor a preference in the victim types have been found. This may indicate that SCP-023's victim is designated entirely at random, but is unknown whether this selection occurs at the beginning or at the end of the one-year time period. Attempts to terminate an individual who has made eye contact with SCP-023 and their entire immediate family before the one-year period has ended. Data explains autopsies of individuals killed by SCP-023's effect show that, while outwardly appearing unharmed, the remains have been filled in with highly compact ash, including but not limited to all organ systems and the circulatory system. Muscle tissue, bones, and brain tissues universally show signs of exposure to temperatures above degrees Celsius if not contained in a setting that at least superficially resembles a crossroads, SCP-023 will phase through walls to get to the nearest suitable location, incinerating all material it passes through. SCP-023 was first brought to the Foundation's attention when it attacked a church in France while it was in session, killing civilians directly and as a result of eye contact following retrieval of SCP-023, Glee class amnesiotics were administered to witness all surviving victims. The incident was covered up as a case of arson. Thanks for watching the video, press the like button if you like this video and subscribe to our channel, it keeps us motivated to make more videos.